Hello, horsey people. We're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing, and today we are back, in fact, with the dreaded Peacock Appaloosa. Now, you guys know me. I don't like this coat pattern, okay? It's my least favorite. I'm just going to be honest. So, today, plan is we are going to... I just looked through some of my stable blocks, and it looks like we uh, have a couple... Of peacock appaloosas but i think actually to start us off i mean i've got marshmallow here in case times get tough but i'm just gonna yeah do you know what just for now i'm gonna use that lovely <laughs> lovely peacock appaloosa uh, stallion calico uh yes uh, just to breed some peacock appaloosas today now i'm gonna have to give up or sell some of these for a minute we don't need some of these anyway they were from previous videos so this is cool but welcome to the channel guys if you're new if you're not new welcome back you crazy horse people thank you so much for creating such an awesome community where it's full of lovely people you guys are so so awesome honestly i can't get over it and massive thank you to my channel members you guys are legends but today yeah we're gonna see what happens when we use a peacock appaloosa stallion we might bring out the mare as well but we'll see how we get on today i would like to try and breed a load of pickle capaloosas but we'll see what happens it's been a while since we did this i think what spurred it for me was somebody was talking about a peacock capaloosa in wild horse islands weirdly and i went oh well actually i feel like i, f I feel like breeding those again so yeah crazy so let's just make sure he's set a stud and he is a level 10, which kind of makes me feel better about the situation. I know I'm not really breeding for stats anymore, but it kind of helps. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use any of these. I don't have loads of really good mares, actually, at the moment. I don't know why. I, anyway, we'll just see how we get on. We need to do a bit of racing and stuff as well, because my money is a little bit low. So, yeah, stay tuned, though, guys. We do have more horse games coming to the channel. So if you're always on the hunt for good horse games, it's kind of the reason I think I've been put on this planet. So please consider subscribing. Turn on that not notification bell because, uh, yeah, we, we've got some cool horse games coming. I hope. We'll see. But there's only one way to find out, right? Right, while we wait for our first set of foals, we're actually going to go do a race. I don't know who on earth is going to be selected. Right, okay. We're going to ride it ourselves for once. We're going to put our brave pants on. And we're going to go and race and see. And hopefully not show myself up. Because it's rival style horse racing. I should be excellent at this game, right? Right. Okay. Okay, come on, Lady Ranger. Deep breath. You can do this. Ooh, that was bang in the middle. So hopefully Lady here's got it covered. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got this. Let's go. Okay, so the trick is not to use too much green straight away, guys. I'm on the PC version, though, which I think is a lot easier. I must admit, I'm being honest there. Uh oh, this guy's getting cocky next to me. Come on, lady, you got this. Okay, let's have a look. So, we don't have too long left. That was actually quite a long race, actually. I don't normally like long races. Might check out some of the new Swedish... <laughs> Swedish... Switzerland cross-country courses today as well. We have played them, but we'll get, we might do a couple more rounds if you guys missed it. Might do that a bit later. Okay, guys, the time to sprint is, like, now. If you can sprint about 400 metres out, you're on to a winner. 
Bye bye, everybody. Look how fast Lady is. Yeehaw! I'm gonna kick everyone's butt. That's what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness, come on. Whee! At least you guys can hear me clicking and stuff. I mean, that comes with the microphone being quite sensitive, I guess. Yay, it's so exciting. I might actually turn the mic down slightly. That's not a bad idea. Okay, let's do it like this. Hey, excellent. Radio. So, let's go collect a payout or two because I don't feel like we made much money off that. We made like two million. That is quite a lot of money, to be fair. Uh, the quickest way to make loads of money in one go, though, is just by like hiring the jockey, putting a massive bet on, and just skipping to results each time. We. So, do you guys actually do you like? Or hate, love or hate, the Peacock Appaloosa coat pattern. It isn't for me. It's not my favourite. But I don't know what foals are going to come out. You know, we might end up getting some really cool stuff. So I'll tell you what, let's go now. We're going to go to the foal stalls. Let's go see what first foals we get. Now, I do have some cool looking mares, I do admit. But we'll use some of my other mares too today, like more plain ones. Okay, let's go. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I love a chestnut. It's good. Do you know what? I swear that is a rare coat because you don't tend to breed them much. But I love that. It's so cute. We're going to sell her straight off. She is gorgeous. But not kind of what we're after today. We'll, we'll see. I might grab out the peacock abelusa mare at some point. Maybe let's use a different mare. Yeah, let's use yeah, let's use this one. Yeah, it'd be fine. That's a lovely buckskin mare or dun, whatever you guys want to call it. Whatever works. Okay, let's go straight to push rush. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. I love the headpiece on that. It's cute. Oh, it's a level ten filly. Oh, I could keep that. I could keep that. Let's skip it to Matt. I know we're gonna like run out of space, but if you guys have name suggestions for me as well, if you could just drop them below, that'd be excellent. I am actually gonna read through some names today. Appreciate it, guys. You are all legends. Okay, let's go to right comments, Lady Ranger. So instead of this horse being called this choir, which is a terrible name, let's have a look. So rival stars have announced they've got a new breed of horse coming. <laughs> ah, who didn't see that coming? I reckon show jumping will be next, guys. That's my theory. That's my theory. Not that I know, because I don't at all. I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, I need some names, guys. If you could, that'd be great. Let's have a look at Cookie. Let's have a look. Oh, I need some names. Okay, here's some names from Emily Vespa. You've come up with some great names. Thank you so much. Chip, Brownie, Muffin. Muffin's cool. I'm going for Muffin. That is a great name. So we might use her in a bit. Do you know what? I might go and grab out. I'm going to do it. Let's grab out the Peacock Abelusa mare that I have. So I find this, as much as I don't like this coat pattern, I do find it like hard to breed, actually. I can never see it in the game. I don't, anyway. Let's see what happens if we just breed two of the peacocks together. It's going to be like, like a land of peacocks. Whoa, where did I put it? Where's my peacock mag on? It's a good question. Well, hold up. Let's have a look. Hey, there we go. Excellent. Fabulous. Nice. A peacock Appaloosa, beanie. Okay, let's go straight to beanie. Let's do it. Ooh, okay, not quite what we're after today, you never know, but so so far, the Peacock Appaloosa hasn't produced anything weird, but I think times will change. Let's sell this foal. Cute. Peacock Appaloosas, you either love them or you hate them, but just let me know in the comment section what you're kind of going for there. Okay, I kind of want to go straight here, but let's save the Peacock Appaloosa mare that I have. Okay, let's go straight into Avalanche Albie, who clearly needs a new name. Ooh, that's a nice colour. Hey! I do like that uh, pattern, actually. I think it's cool. We'll use a name from Emily Vesper again. Thank you so much. Let's use one of your names. Let's go Cookie. I'm kind of going on a food theme. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is a gorgeous looking foal. I think let's see what she looks like as a mare. 
Ember the Wolf Girl will use some of your name suggestions too. Thank you so much. Hey, okay, back to the fall stalls. Okay, let's go to sub. I can't say this word. <laughs> this this nice looking mare here. Ooh, a chestnut with blue eyes. Creepy. Cute though, cute and creepy at the same time, you know? Actually, who's a good example of cute and creepy at the same time? I'm just going to sell this fall straight out though. I'm sorry, buddy. I feel a bit bad for that, but. Cool, right, let's have a look. So we have Marshmallow left there. So before we go and discover Marshmallow, I just want to have a quick go around one of the new Switzerland courses. I think let's go straight into course six. Let's be hardcore here. <laughs> yeah, so hardcore that I'm not pressing the uh, the pro button. I love that they've added cost country, uh, like a new course. This is, this is kind of what we wanted. And now they're bringing out a breed that specializes or is renowned for show jumping. So, or for jumping in general. So does that mean we're gonna be getting show jumping? Which totally makes sense. But it will be Rival Stars Equestrian. Why don't they just do a whole new game? So Rival Stars Horse Racing is obviously for, I don't know, people who are non-equestrian as well. People who just love races, I guess. Whoa, where's the corner here? Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. Hey, and that's the course done. Cute. That's cute. I love how we stop immediately after the fence as well. <laughs> like the horse is like, get off now. Done with you, get off. Hey, we got a gold resort. That was fun, I enjoyed that. Okay, let's go, let's collect a little payout. It won't be very much. And then, okay guys, are you ready? We've actually got a Peacock Appaloosa all round. So mum and dad. So let's have a look, let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, it's so strange. I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. This is so weird. Um, Look closer with that one, guys. Look closer. That is the most bizarre horse I've ever bred. Um, I think let's care for fall for a minute. He needs a really unique name. Let's have a scroll through here. I do appreciate you guys taking your time out to put in a few names. If you could maybe drop me down maybe your mum and dad's name, your uncle, maybe a guardian's name. I can name a horse after them. That'd be funny. Uh, Brauch Hoiter 1981. You've got some names. Nutella Monarcha. Oliver Dip Faith Prince. I, think, I, think, I might go with Axel for this one. That's kind of a cool name. Uh, this is amazing. I'm going to get a picture of the whole family thing because very bizarre like that is a bizarre little fall right there i mean in a good way in a good way you know it's cute but definitely look closer here so let's age this fall up let's skip into stallion and see what happens oh my goodness okay so he is a peacock abalusa guys i promise <laughs> but it's hidden so actually perfect let's use him as a stud now and let's just see what happens. So we only have... Okay, I say we only... We actually have quite a few stables left, so that's good. Right, let's use this new stallion then with, like, loads of our mares. Let's just... Let's go nuts here. Yeah, let's go... I don't even know who that is, but yeah, let's go. Let's mix it all up. This is going to be cool. Hopefully he'll breed some cool horses. Let's go with Plate Cackle. What What even is that name? That is a silly name. But a Cremello Peacock Appaloosa, like, is that even... That's crazy. Like, that's a weird name. I'm excited about this. Right, we need to go do a bunch of races. We need to get some money back in our account, guys. Let's face it. Because we're starting to get a little bit... 
low on the buns there but yes so that's cool we bred a cremello peacock appaloosa that is so that's definitely a coat pattern i've never had before never 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 so that actually went really well i just want to say a massive thanks by the way to all my channel members you guys are legends thank you thank you thank you rival stars horse racing can't believe they keep adding stuff to it like in a good way most computer games i swear like don't do this much but this is awesome this is so fun. I'm having such a lovely time. Well done, Rival Stars. Well done, Pickpock. Doing a good job. But we need Rival Stars Equestrian, where it's all different breeds. Really good genetics. Difficult genetics. You know? Anybody else, like, agree? I, I think so. I think so. Okay. Okay, skip to results. Okay, we're just that's the last race. I think we've now got over 20 million there, so that's good. Oh, well, nearly 20 million. It'll do. We're not gonna breed like loads and loads today, but I do want to see what this Cremello stallion is gonna produce. So we have three horses here. This one here actually has more Cremello in her family tree. There might be a bit of inbreeding going on, but we'll just we'll just slightly ignore that. Right, straight into our first fall with the Cremello. <gasps> oh my god, so weird. Oh my goodness, this is so strange. Oh, it's a really cool colour though. So I think the... I don't know if the more complicated genetics has come in. I don't know. I'm going to call this one Smoke. Smokey. I know I need to come up with a new name than Smokey. I use it for everything. That is a really cool looking for... Oh, it's a black peacock abaloosa. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh my goodness, look at this. Whoa, hey! Oh wow, that's a really cool... Let's have a look at that colour. So definitely peacock. It's a black with no dilution, but it, I don't know, it's very strange. That is awesome. I'm really chuffed with that. The peacock appaloosa is getting crazy. Okay, so let's go straight to the next one. Is it going to be peacock appaloosa? No, I'm surprised, but hey, that's okay. Has got the cute little umbrella face there. I think we'll sell him straight out the back because he's not kind of what we're after today. I feel like we bred a lot of Cool stuff. I want to breed that Appaloosa. Hang on. I'm going to breed the new... Oh, my fingers are so fat. Right. The new Peacock Appaloosa. Hey! I'm definitely going to do that. Probably not with her own dad, because that's not that's not normal. Okay, let's put the two black ones together. Why not? That could be good. It could also be terrible. Do I have another Peacock mare? I might breed with... Obviously, you, you've been used, my friend. Like this one. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with the bird catcher stallion. Why not? It's a bit random, that. But hey, we've got two bird catchers. Uh, two peacock appaloosas now. And um, mares, anyway. So that's cool. Right, let's go into plate cackle. Hopefully her name won't make up for it. Oh, my goodness. Yay, another peacock with the blue eyes. See, I've actually bred this coat pattern quite a lot. I've actually bred this shade, sorry, quite a lot. So I've bred the chestnut with the blue eyes quite a few times. Very strange looking fool. And he's a stallion. So let's give him up. Let's see what he's going to look like. He needs to... He's he's also called Plate. Plate Echo. Kiana Lord. 6924. You have, you're going to name this awesome one here. So let's rename him. Let's go... You know what? I like the name. Oh, they're all uh, mare names. Oh. Okay, well, you've come up with some... Oh, no, you've come up with boy ones as well. Dennis. Dart is kind of a cool name. Like, a dart kind of looks like a dartboard. That's mean, but kind of does, you know? Oh, dear. Okay, Um, I think this is going to be... Maybe I could use Calico again, but... I don't know. Maybe we should breed one more just for a bit of fun. But that... Well, just... This will be genuinely the last fall for today. And I'm not sure who to breed him with. We could go with Flattery Thistle. That was really hard to say. Yeah, there's not going to be too many more falls. Um, we're just going to have a bit of fun. I'm just going to go and top up my account a little bit to do some big races. Now, guys, there's a lot of money going on this one. I think this one race might actually be enough. Yay, lady. Excellent. This is good. Wonderful. Okay, that'll do for now. Right, straight back to the fossils then. So we've got Marshmallow there. We've got Flattery Thistle. I can't say it. And Smoky. So I'm not sure. Let's go with the cheapest first because that's that's always a good way to go. Right, Smoky, let's see what we get. Oh, look at this. 
Oh my goodness. That is outrageous. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna care for Fall for a minute. I'm gonna call him Dotty. I don't know why I'm calling him. I need some names. What would you call this horse, guys? Look at this. This is crazy. Crazy like a Sunday morning. I don't know why I just sang that, but... Amazing. Right, we're going to age this one up. He's a stallion. Hey! Got to use him. Look at this. Ooh, it's so strange. See, once you breed the peacock Appaloosa in as well, like, you can't not have it. It does actually sort of curse you. Once you've bred it in there, you're not getting rid of it. That's what I would say. Um, it's one of those coats that it just keeps going. There was another coat pattern that kind of did that to us as well, but I can't remember which one it, which one it was. Ooh, look how many. How do I get rid of the overview? There we go. Cool. Nice. Collect payouts. Excellent. Brilliant day. Okie dokie. That was kind of cool. That was a really good shot. Right, we're only going to do two more. So I said, um, I kind of want to save Marshmallow. Let's go straight into Flattery Thistle. Ah, oh, nice and little plain one. Cute. That is cute. Not my favourite, but you know, neither is the peacock. So we'll just sell this full straight out. It's cute, but not kind of what we're after. Axel, nice. Um, I'm not sure. Am I going to breed again? I wasn't actually going to breed again, so I need to be... No, Lady Ranger, don't do it. Okay, guys, this is the last fall, I think, for today. So, um, yeah, let's go Let's go find out. I think it's going to be a Peacock Appaloosa. What do you guys reckon? Oh, it's a Peacock Appaloosa. Yoo-hoo! I think Dad was, though. I can't remember now. It's a level 10 colt. Nice. Let's skip him straight to Stallion. I'd love some name suggestions for spotted horses. There's Hopkins. Are there gonna be is there gonna be any more Planet Zoo on the other channel? Um yes, I do want to get going. I just need to like I need to get some energy. I I try and do all my content in one day. I'm really busy, but I've cut down horses a bit now. So hopefully should be alright. I really appreciate this comment from Callie Duckworth. We love you, Lady Ranger. You're such a fun and kind YouTuber. Lots of us watching your videos and subscribers. I got a bit upset. I did have a comment yesterday or day before that said that I didn't care about my followers because I was ignore them, ignoring them on Wild Horse Islands. I wasn't ignoring them on Wild Horse Islands. I'd already spoken to them and they were following me. So it's a bit different. I'd already had a chat with them. They'd give me a horse. It was lovely. They were really kind. It was a really like, like lovely person following me. Um, it's just that's why I didn't talk to them because... She was just like following me. <laughs> like that was it. It wasn't like me ignoring her. It's just that was that was it. Um, but it was upsetting that comment. I was like, oh. Because I don't know. But I need thicker skin in life, I think. Especially being a YouTuber. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna call this one Sunset. Cute little name, but I do need some name suggestions from you all, please. Kinda wanna breed the black peacock stallion like just once. Um Dottie's not really a very manly name, I feel, but hey, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to breed him once. I'm just going to breed him once. Maybe and breed him slightly. Um, we're going to find another peacock. Wherever they are. I can't believe how many horses we can have now. Um, yeah, that's in breeding, like, too much. I have another peacock, don't I? Marshmallow. Uh, yeah, it's going to be in breeding, but no one has to know that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, the last fall. Let's go for it. Oh my goodness, it's not even a peacock. <laughs> It's a really cool coat, though. It's a level 9 coat, but it's a really unique, cool coat. That was totally unexpected. Oh, my goodness. I love that. Actually, do you know what? I want to skip him to Stalin because I'm going to call him a flatfish. Flatfish? Flatfish. It's a terrible name, but it's got to stay. I love that coat pattern. It's so cool. I forgot what this one's called. Hold up. Oh, this is the Pinto Stripe. Yeah, I love that. I think my favourite one we've bred today is probably the Cremello. I mean, that's really rare. I feel like that is really rare. 
And I don't think I'm going to breed a Cremello Peacock Appaloosa anytime soon, you know. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it today. It wasn't particularly long, but I just wanted to come back to the peacocks because I've been seeing them everywhere in my mind for some reason. They are cursing me and here we are. Oh. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing. We'd love to have you part of our little horse community here, our crazy horse family. So, yeah, that would be really cool. If you could help us get to 50,000 subscribers as well, that's insane. Thank you so much. And if you could do us a massive favour by giving us a thumbs up on the video, it just helps us out in the algorithms. So that would be super helpful. I hate asking, but otherwise, I think we forget. We all forget. And I think that's it. But which one's been your favourite one so far? Has it been the Palomino, the Cremello, Black, Chestnut or the Bay? We've had a good mix today. It's been awesome. We've had a great time. And hopefully, guys, then I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a awesome rest of your day. Bye.